Hi, this is Ben. This is a horsepower quick take and uh, just decimating some information out there in a quick video format. Thank you and please subscribe, like and share. Please subscribe, like and share. Hello everybody. Uh, today we will talk about valve adjustments again. And uh, I had so much messages on my YouTube as well as private where people were suggesting their way of uh, adjusting valves and uh, some are even saying well you know instead of TDC adjust both intake and exhaust because number one you know top dead center uh, about the fire okay that sounds legit and then you gotta mark your dampener 90 degrees and turn it 90 degrees and you go to number two, uh, intake, and then you go to number three, exhaust, number four, exhaust, and so forth, so on. And then you go to the other side, then you turn it another 90 degree, and you adjust number seven, you know, intake. Oh. Guys, thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> but a stew dog got along. I will show you here how I do it and uh, on a live engine. All right. So he obviously had his valve adjusted pads. Yeah. And I think I've got mine adjusted wrong too. Could be. So you got to do the adjustment on on yours the same way. I followed all the directions that the, all the Porsche people say should be done for the way it is. And it's always... it's. And they say that those valves uh, We'll do a quick check on the ICEO routine. I see a lot of guys check the valve latch, it takes too long. I'll show you guys what to do. ICEO intake closing. Exhaust open. Exhaust is che check or exhaust opening. We'll do the intake. So let's do, the, do it again. Check the intake. Okay, then we'll do this one. Okay. okay, and then now let's reverse it. Intake closing. Okay, done. Less than a minute, you check. Now, that was actually 37 seconds. Okay, and that's both intake and exhaust. I remember years ago, I was at uh, TI, and I pulled the valve covers off my race car. I had to do a real quick check because I thought I, I lost something there. So my crew chief then uh, pulled the valve covers both sides and I come back with uh, a feeder gauge. And uh, at that time, well, you know, uh, I have a habit of lashing my intake and exhaust the same. Uh, you know, a lot of people do the intake and then a wider thing on the exhaust. Well, I just did both at the same, uh, same clearances. It didn't seem to have affected it much performance-wise. But uh, that said, so uh, I got a bunch of guys looking around taking pictures because they were saying one time I had the dog on thing uh, idling and they go hey, look at that his valve trains don't have any oil I think he's got no oil pressure <laughs> no my, the top end of my engine was restricted when it's idling it's getting a little drip towards the rocker fold from it's a TND rocker only when you rev it up then a little oil comes out a little not a lot anyway so I go in there and the uh, take out the feeler gauge and I go pop 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 and I did exactly what you saw here but here I'm talking it still took 37 seconds in there I think it took me about 23 25 seconds I just went through that one bank and then I went to the other side and last the other side in less than a minute and a half you know and people are, I see a bunch of guys 
look at it, each other like, what we just, what did we just see? He just lashed that engine, you know, in a matter of seconds. I'm done on both banks. I went click, 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 did that, and went to the other side, did that. And then I wiped the, the filler gauge, threw it in the toolbox, and I started putting the valve cover on. And they were like, <laughs> it's funny when you do those things. <laughs> you know, so I was going to run again another round. That's why I was, I just thought I'd lost a lifter or something. So I had to do a quick check. But when the lash was all the same, I go, okay, it's pretty good. And I went by it real fast. And to some people, unbelievable. But if I have to go, GDC, number one firing, lash it, go to the other side, 90 degree, uh, let me see my list. Uh, no, it'll be a long day, guys. You have you don't have that kind of uh, convenience. If uh, look, uh, sometimes actually in the pits is freaking a rat race. That was a rat race routine that I did. Okay, because I had to put the valve cover on and run out again. Oh, uh, as a side note, uh, I dealt with one magazine guy a long time ago. <laughs> when I was in, uh, by Glendale, my shop there. Uh, I was doing an engine and, you know, I had it open, it's actually a small block Chevy. And he says, uh, how do you check that uh, if your camera's on time? You know, with the heads on and everything and the timing cover's on. I said, well, is that very hard? He said, yeah, I was wondering, how could you do it? I said, well, it's easy. I said, come right here. So I went to number one. And I got me one of those uh, six inch straight edge and I put a flashlight behind the two lifters. Okay? And then when the two lifters at overlap went up to zero with the and I could see any light, I said, look at the dampener. If it's a TDC exact, this camps up is time. So <laughs> I did the thing. He doesn't look at the dampener. I said, stop. And then <laughs> he looks at the dog dog on Dampener is right up TDC. He goes, I never seen that before. <laughs> well, there it is. Okay, I sit in that overlap. It was a, uh, you know, same duration in taking exhaust, and then I think it was a 110 or one. It was so long ago, but when they're at overlap and they level up, and uh, the dog thing is zero. All right, so that's uh, how it was. He was. Uh, he left that shop scratching his head. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I hope you guys learn from from here. Uh, I'm not talking. Uh, I don't like to talk too much. I like to show, uh, like this thing here, how that is. All right. So uh, uh, thank you. Uh, please uh, subscribe, like, and share, so I can do more of these little shorts. Thank you very much.